Now it's been a lifelong dream of mine to see the, oh, there's dirt on that lens. Hello. Now it's always been a lifelong dream of mine to see the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis to give it its official name. And it's something I've never achieved even with all my trips up to Scotland. Something I've just always wanted to do. So yesterday I jumped on a plane uh, to Rovaniemi Airport in Finland which is apparently the official airport for Santa Claus. And I came here to the Apaka Resort in Lapland. Now the Apaka Resort has set itself up as a bit of an Aurora Borealis specialist resort. But of course the, the issue is, being a natural phenomenon, there's absolutely no guarantee whatsoever that the Northern Lights will show. So the Apaka Resort has plenty of other activities to keep people occupied, from ice carving to ice fishing. I think there's a couple out there now who are doing some ice fishing but I fancied snowshoe walking so yesterday I was fitted up with some snowshoes taken out uh, behind a snowmobile to a remote part of the forest where I had a, an attempt at snowshoe walking it was wonderful and this is how I got on However, that wasn't the only reason I came to the Apaka Resort. I'm here to see a very special caravan. And this is it, the Aurora wagon. As some of you may have noticed already, it's actually an Adria action, but it's been repurposed by Apuka Resorts to become basically a means of being able to see the Northern Lights in comfort. There's nothing quite like laying in bed, watching the Northern Lights through the sunroof, through this huge panoramic window that the action has. So let me give you a little tour of this very special caravan. So people can rent this caravan either for the afternoon or to stay overnight. And what they do is they tow this to a remote part of the forest with the snowmobile and then they just leave you to it. Look at this. And can you hear that?
that is the sound of absolutely nothing. Absolutely magical experience. So anyway, as I say, let me show you around the caravan before it gets dark. A little close up here of how they've mounted the ski onto the wheel. So the handbrake is always applied. They mustn't let the handbrake off because as you can see, that is paramount to the skis working correctly. Those of you who remember the Dusseldorf vlogs will remember that I was very, very taken with this layout and it is my favorite layout in the Adria Action range. Unfortunately, not available on all markets, including the UK, but I absolutely love this caravan. So let me show you around again. At the front here, we have the double bed. And of course, that very important panoramic window. I mean, look at that. Look at that. So you can just lie in bed and if the, if the lights are gonna perform, you can just lie in bed and watch them. Now, unfortunately, Apaka Resorts will not permit you to use the kitchen, so you are packed off with a little picnic with a flask for some hot water and tea and snacks and in the fridge, some water and some juice. But the good news is the washroom is fully functioning and yes, you can use the toilet. Give him some extra water there. Oh, hello. Sorry, has to be done. And then finally at the rear, we have this very snazzy rear dinette for lounging, eating, and of course, waiting for the lights to perform if you get lucky. Now there's obviously no mains electricity out here. The heating is powered by gas. And the good news is being one of these, this kind of Truma heaters is that you don't need the battery to power the fan. However, in case the heating does fail, Apaka have packed you off with a couple of extra sleeping bags. And this sounds like Miko who's come back with some firewood, so let's have a campfire. There he is. Okay, so had a lovely campfire and then Miko took me back to the resort to have my dinner as we're not allowed to cook in the caravan. And while we were in resort at about eight o'clock tonight, the light started. So we jumped on the snowmobile, we came shooting back to the caravan and I've been out and done a few photos, but they're sort of dying down at this point. It's about nine o'clock now, 10 past nine, and I'm gonna turn the lights out and just sit here in the darkness, listen to the silence, and fingers crossed the lights will put on another display tonight. But even if they don't, it's still a magical experience.
Good morning. Well, that was a very comfortable night's sleep, just not enough of it because I had to get up so early for my flight home. Miko would be here in a minute on the snowmobile to take me back to resort to pack my bag and go, unfortunately. I'm going to have to leave this winter paradise. Despite the fact it's about minus 12 at the moment, the caravan stayed toasty, toasty warm with the Truma heating and of course on gas it's very warm indeed. So I only had it on one all night and the heat settings are one to five. So that's pretty good. You're never going to get cold in this caravan no matter how cold it gets on the outside. It just leads me to thank the Apaka Resort for asking me to come over here and to Adria for making it happen. And it just leads me to say from beautiful, beautiful Lapland, thanks for tuning in.